We'll stay on some Galamse related stories and some academic experts advocating for the use of technology in the battle against illegal mining, asserting that technological advancement could enhance the monitoring of Galamse activities and support law enforcement efforts. Central Regional Correspondent Calvin Stetter reports further on this matter. The fight against illegal mining seem increasingly challenging for the state as illegal miners persist in ravaging forest reserves. Despite numerous efforts to combat this issue, many water bodies have been severely polluted, with some having their natural flow altered, posing a significant threat to the ecosystem. One major obstacle in addressing the activities of illegal miners, particularly those operating in water bodies, is the elusive operational methods. However, some academics argue that monitoring these activities should be feasible in our current technological age. Professor B.K. Omanienchi, the General Council Chairman of CAF University College, suggests that with proper training and resources, students specializing in science, technology, and mathematics can develop technologies to effectively monitor both illegal mining activities and the action of law enforcement agencies that's making the fight against Galamsi more manageable and efficient. Now, what we need is that we need the so-called STEM that has come. It's so important because STEM, as soon as long as you are learning STEM, your engineering will be sharp. You'll be able to think about so many things that will help the country to develop. Today, what is worrying us about this so-called Galamsi? Now, we have people spoiling the water bodies, our farms and whatnot. But it's very difficult for us to be able to know when it's going to happen and who is there at a particular time. But if these children are able to learn, they'll be able to develop machines, equipment, that even if you're in your home, you'll be able to see that somebody's on the river body uh, creating challenge so that we can send law enforcement there to be able to uh, help us address it. In a similar vein, Professor Herbert Kobla Day, director of CAF University College, highlighted the importance of scientific research in restoring the already degraded environment. He believes that if scientists in the country effectively apply their knowledge, they can discover faster solutions for environmental restoration. Yeah, if you look at the Galamse issue, it has to do with science. Uh, that's why we are doing these engineering programs and all that. And they can help in uh, so many ways in solving this problem. It realize that they destroy the environment. The environment has to be rejuvenated. They have to, the, you see that they dug holes and leave the holes. It realize that they polluted the waters. The water needs to be treated again to bring it back. And it's only science that we can use to solve all these problems. So I think that uh, with the science-based program that we are running, our scientists should be able to help in addressing this canker that we have, which is destroying our environment. Meanwhile, Michael Edu, the founder of CAF University College is urging the government to provide support in the form of incentives and infrastructure for private universities, which would enhance the operational efficiency. If you look at government comes out to say, oh, I'm giving buses to uh, universities. I'm giving them buses. But they don't give private universities. They come out to say that uh, they are helping them in infrastructure, building their their, their, their infrastructure, or even helping them in uh, acquiring equipment for their laboratories. But they don't do that for private universities. But then if they should do that, I'm assuring you that we will do better than what we are doing now. If tomorrow they will come and say, we are supporting you so that you pay it. I mean, in terms of taxes, they are reducing taxes for us. They say they are reducing, because what we are doing, we are helping the nation. An expert in the education sector believes the fight against illegal mining can be won if institutions continuously train students in STEM education to produce students who would help in the fight against illegal mining. Carl Stetter, Channel One News, Gumwafete Kakrava.